modern data is increasingly complex and challenging to protect. And Cloudflare now offers a unified SSC platform to protect data across all environments and all data states. The data protection suite is not a specific product within Cloudflare One, but rather aspects of each major service that are geared towards users who need to prioritize things like regulations and compliance standards related to the organization's data and privacy, visibility of data exposure due to misconfigurations within SaaS and self-hosted applications, and stopping the unauthorized use of sensitive or proprietary information. This Cloudflare demo will showcase how the data protection suite can handle each of these use cases in the context of the daily activities of a single employee. Now, we're taking the role of Maggie Walker, a financial analyst who works for the company Skyflash. Maggie's role gives her access to sensitive customer data, and one of the files she was working on yesterday has accidentally synchronized to her corporate Google suite. One crucial aspect of data protection we'll observe here is mitigating data exposures and misconfigurations, and we'll do so in the context of our Cloud Access Security Broker. Cloudflare's CASB is where we integrate our SaaS applications and have Cloudflare scan the environment for vulnerabilities. Once you've onboarded your SaaS app to Cloudflare, and in some cases after you've enabled the appropriate APIs and service accounts, we'll return a list of common security findings within minutes. And even if your application has a more involved onboarding process than just giving your login credentials, Cloudflare provides prescriptive, step-by-step -step guidance that simplifies the process down to a couple of minutes on average. Now let's take a look at the findings that we've uncovered in our corporate instance of G Suite. It looks like our CASB has detected something matching a sensitive data profile inside of G Suite that's also in a publicly accessible folder. Inside the finding details, we can see it's the file that Mackie has been working from. You can't mitigate data exposures like this if you don't know it's there. And Cloudflare here not only scanned your SaaS data at rest through its CASB integration, but matched data to a specific DLP profile. Now, Mackie is going to grab another sensitive file to work on using her home device. And due to her finance group membership, she has privileged remote access to her company's Salesforce. She's going to try and download a file from Salesforce, but we can see that it's been stopped at the network level. However, inside of our gateway logs, we can see Mackie's request was blocked by Cloudflare. Specifically, it matched to a data leak prevention or DLP policy. In context, we're using our secure web gateway to look for certain DLP profiles. If we go into the policy itself, we can see that this policy is looking for financial information on Salesforce and blocking the download if the user is not on a managed device. For organizations securing remote and hybrid work, enhanced security measures around sensitive data are common requirements for many state and federal compliance standards. In context, Cloudflare's Secure Web Gateway allows us to scan user traffic and apply specific security policies against it to protect sensitive company data. In this example, Maggie needs to switch to a managed device to get the report. Now, Maggie is on her managed device and she's downloaded the file. Once that's in hand, Maggie goes to ChatGPT and asks it to summarize the contents for her. However, when she attempts to copy the data into the tool, it's blocked. What this means is, Maggie's ChatGPT session is actually occurring inside a remote browser. This is a headless Chromium browser that's spun up at Cloudflare's Edge and used to browse the web on her behalf. This happened because of a browser isolation policy inside Gateway, which matches the traffic headed to ChatGPT. It's also being used to secure sensitive data, like the customer revenue report she wanted this tool to look at. As we can see here, our policy stops copy-paste from the native browser to the remote browser. Generative AI tools are powerful emerging technologies which can automate and simplify tasks across a wide variety of use cases, but due to the nature of these tools, there is an inherent risk to giving it proprietary or confidential information. Cloudflare has mitigated the risk of data exposure here using its remote browser technology, but as you saw earlier, this can be applied with existing DLP policies to things like exact data matches on company code. Now that we've seen it in multiple contexts, let's take a look at our DLP settings and how it's configured. Cloudflare can enable DLP profiles based on values like financial information and personal data, but also lets users apply their own custom profiles. Here, I have a custom profile for a Microsoft Information Protection label that I have configured across confidential documents. I can also upload datasets to create an exact data match in case I want to limit false positives by reducing the scope of what my DLP profile looks for. As mentioned before, Cloudflare's data protection suite is not just about mitigating sensitive data exposures and securing emerging technologies like AI. It's also a tool to help companies enforce compliance standards across their organization. 
As we saw with Maggie's attempt to download a file on an unmanaged device, Cloudflare enables granular control over user traffic and application access. Let's take a look inside of the Salesforce application. We've onboarded our instance of Salesforce to Cloudflare and we're applying a specific security posture requirement on top of anyone who tries to log in. This is why Maggie had to use two-factor authentication to access Salesforce earlier, but also why she wouldn't be able to use SMS, the typically less secure form of MFA. As we saw earlier, all activity against our access protected applications and gateway policies are logged within Cloudflare. And here, for example, we can see the DLP policies that triggered earlier against the chat.openai.com domain. And as part of enhanced security or compliance measures, we can log push to wherever the data needs to go. Inside the Sumo Logic configuration, we can see I'm exporting user device posture data, but this menu gives me a quick look at all of the data that's available to me, including access logs, CASB findings, and gateway logs. And if we don't support your vendor of choice, we can always push to any S3 compatible bucket. So taking a step back, we can see how Maggie, our financial analyst, helped us walk through every aspect of the data protection suite. Over the course of this demo, she inappropriately uploaded customer information to Google Drive, which was detected by our CASB. She tried to access privileged data from an unmanaged device, which was stopped by our gateway DLP policy. She tried to upload that data to an AI platform, which was stopped by RBI and DLP. And we've also seen how Cloudflare enforces the use of multi-factor authentication across multiple applications. And hopefully, it's clear how Cloudflare's data protection suite helps users protect their sensitive information from misuse, identify misconfigurations and data exposures they might not be aware of, and adhere to any compliance standards around how this information should be accessed.